Now, I request our respected Vice President, Dr. Shekhar Vishwanathan, to address the gathering. Good morning to all of you. I welcome all the parents, students, and other family members here, those who have assembled here in Anna Auditorium and those who are present in the CS Hall and the Chanaradi Auditorium. Sorry, we couldn't accommodate all of you in one hall. The turnout seemed to be much higher than what we expected. That's the beauty of our Indian system. Uh, <clears throat> this day is very memorable uh, for all of you. And for um, many of the students, it will be the first time they'll be going out of the house and staying in a hostel. Uh, may I request all the parents to kindly stand up? Parents only. Okay, that's a huge turnout. Let's give a big round of applause to the heroes. These are the real heroes. Please, please. <clears throat> I have visited so many countries around the world, but I have never seen parents like the Indian parents. They give so much of care and support to their children for a very long time. Now, that's really amazing, and I'm, I'm sure the children recognize and appreciate that fact. It's very important that the students here realize that this is a paradigm shift. When you're going from the school phase to the university phase, it's a paradigm shift. For example, in the school, your teachers might have spoon-fed you. They might have said, okay, these questions are very important for you, and then you go mug up and vomit. Mug up, vomit. That's not how university works. That's not how real world works. In the university, you are expected to understand and develop and improve. It's very, very important that you do not think of just mug up and vomit. You think of understanding the fundamentals. It's very important. That's why you'll notice many of our examinations in the university level at VIT it's going to be hot examinations, higher order thinking. And in many of the exams, you'll be allowed to carry your notebooks also. It may not be of much use if you do not understand. There's nothing to copy from the notebooks. So even in the class, you know, if you do not understand something, you can ask in the classroom or outside the classroom in the faculty cabin also. You've got to proactively go and approach your faculty member and ask. It cannot be like your school. And don't hesitate to ask. There's a Chinese proverb, right? The person who asks a question may think he's a fool for five minutes. A person who doesn't ask a question remains a fool for life. So it's very important that you ask questions. If you look at most of the discoveries and inventions, they have happened because people asked questions. People asked, question the established beliefs. Right? We were thinking Earth was flat. We were thinking that the you know, sun was moving. All was questioned. Only then we could come up with facts. So it's very important when the students move from the school phase to the university phase, you start thinking. Thinking is very, very important. And uh, coming to talk about VIT, you know, you all probably know that VIT has been ranked number one private engineering institution for four years by Government of India, NIRF. And then, you know, we are all, thank you. And then we have also been ranked in the, uh, the first time they gave the innovative Award, award for innovation, and among the private institutions, VIT has been uh, number one. Our chancellor received the award from Honorable President. And also, uh, we have been ranked in the QS World Ranking for the top 550 in the world for three subjects, <laughs> chemistry, uh, 
computers and electrical and electronics engineering and we are working on other subjects also. But we are not satisfied. You know, we have a history of 35 years. We think 35 years is long. No, no, 35 years is a very tiny period in the history of an institution. If you go and visit universities like Oxford, Cambridge, Harvard, they are hundreds of years old, 500 years old, 600 years old. And you go to you know, Berkeley, Stanford, you, un you understand how many Nobel laureates they produce. So I am not, I'm not wanting VAT to be compared with IITs. I want VAT to be compared with Stanford, Berkeley, MIT, Oxford, and Cambridge. That's our vision. We want to be in the top 100 of the world. We want to be an internationally renowned institution for quality. And our goal is to produce one Nobel laureate before VIT touches 50 years old. That is going to happen if all of us work hard. Now, we have an extremely dedicated faculty and staff team with good research scholars and good research facilities. I want all of you to take advantage of it. It's very important, even though you are in undergraduate enrollment, you need to get into research also, because when you apply for a master's degree, they are going to ask what kind of projects you did, what kind of papers you submitted. So you take advantage of all the facilities and uh, people we have here. Talk, coming to talk about our international relations, we have an outstanding international team, relations team headed by Dr. Vijay Kumar. We have partnerships with 288 universities across the world. What it means to you is very important. We will be getting many visiting and adjunct faculty. We will be getting exchange students. It's very important that you interact with them and develop a network. Network is very important. Your friends here and those whom you meet outside when you go for conferences and competitions, etc. You should develop your professional network, not just your social media network, a professional network. Start your LinkedIn account. Get into you know, research gate. There's GitHub, contribute to GitHub. So there are so many good things. We are here to support you. So coming to international relations, there are two um, programs that I want to talk about. One is our semester abroad program, what we call a SAP. So during your final semester, you can go do your project. It's usually a semester long project. You can do your project abroad with one of our partner universities or our non-partner university also. And we have scholarships for that also. It's a merit come means scholarship. For many students, we pay for the airfare. And for some, we pay for the living also for those six months. So it's a wonderful opportunity for you to go abroad and meet uh, faculty members from reputed universities. The other program is the International Transfer Program, what we call as ITP. So it's usually two plus two for uh, BTEC. So you study two years in Velour and two years in our partner universities and get partner universities degree. For example, we have partnership with the Purdue University, Rochester Institute of Technology, State University of New York at Binghamton in USA. We have uh, partners in UK, QMUL, Queen's Mary University of, uh, at London. And in Australia also, we have with uh, the famous ANU, Australian National University, Deakin, etc. So it's a wonderful opportunity for you to um, go get a foreign degree after studying for two years in India. It's a great opportunity. Apart from international relations, VIT is very well known for its placements. Of course, one of the major reasons many students join VIT is its placements. I am very proud to announce this placement department headed by Dr. Samuel, whom you were introduced to earlier, brought in 719 companies to the campus last year. 719. That's a wonderful thing. Most colleges are struggling to get how how to get companies into the college. We are struggling to see how to accommodate so many companies in this given time slot. That's because of the quality of the graduates. That's because of our reputation. So you need to 
continue to maintain that reputation of VIT. The companies are looking for students who are well-rounded. They are not ju just looking for bookworms. When they come here, they look for students who can understand the fundamentals very well and apply them. It's very important. So that's why I started off with that. So we will tell you what the companies are looking for, but you need to gear up to it. Last year, for example, Microsoft visited our campus, selected 14 candidates. You know the pay package? Almost 40 lakhs per annum. 40 lakhs per annum. It's, it's really an outstanding salary. Not everybody is going to get it in Microsoft. There are other companies too. But if you work hard, if you have a good academic record, you, I'm sure you can make it. So it's very important that you think from day one itself that you need to focus on your studies and understanding things. Because if somebody gets an arrear, what we call as an arrear, a failure in subject, it will reflect very badly on your record. So there's no question of failing in any of the subjects. If you had failed in your subjects, you would have never landed in VIT. So there's no question of you know, easing out or lazing out after joining the university. This is when you start working towards your goal. You need to have your goal, you know, whether you're after your BTEC, whether you're going to uh, go to a higher education institution like you know, Stanford or Cambridge, or whether you're going to get a great placement in Microsoft or Google or you know, Ford or Hyundai, or whether you're going to uh, become an entrepreneur, or whether you're going to get into service you know, uh, the armed forces or the civil service. There are so many options open for you. So we, we will help you get there, but you need to understand that you need to be proactive in taking up all these opportunities. Once again, uh, you know, it's a great day for all of you to be here. Uh, I uh, thanks, thank all of you and welcome you to VIT. Thank you very much.